Our study relies on the work of basically trained community health workers who are going into rural households to test for malaria. We are working in four districts. Within those districts we have random sampling and this is really the critical component of this study. We require a community health worker to take an RDT test on every child who has fever and in the past we have had incomplete data. This is now where Fionet comes in to give us real time a picture of what is going on. So far we've seen a lot of good data close to a thousand records being uploaded and they're of quality. Fionet has improved my job because I'm now able to receive accurate data in real time including the patient's age, weight and gender. I'm also able to know whether the patient is sleeping under the bed net and whether those nets are in good condition. The DECI has very strong quality assurance checks which alert health workers if they have processed the RDT correctly and also tells them what they did wrong and ensure that they do another test and render an accurate diagnosis. So using the Fionet system, I'm assured that all our patients receive top quality diagnosis and are treated according to the Ministry of Health protocols. Secondly, I can be able to monitor and evaluate the performance of individual health workers, whether they are processing the RDTs correctly or whether they need more training, whether they are prescribing and referring patients when they should, and whether they are conducting patient visits when they should. It has made our work very easy because it's like you're looking out from the top and seeing everything working. And the beauty of it is that we are able to communicate with them as, as uh, the project unfolds. We don't have to wait for data entry clerks to transcribe written tracons or worry about uh, issues of data accuracy or completeness. The information we receive is very clean and precise and available immediately. It is like having a direct window into the point of care. Going forward, we are looking to ways to expand our use of Fionet to continue standing in sex and resistance. Better diagnosis and better data are crucial in tackling this rising challenge and protecting the progress we have made in the fight against malaria.